Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to add a Windows Server print server printer on your Macintosh computer. And this will come in handy if you have a print server at home or if you are trying to accommodate someone at the office with a Macintosh computer on your uh, Windows hardware. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Print and Fax. I find it easier just to search for these things in Mac. And you're going to click this plus sign in the bottom left hand corner. Now this add printer dialog box will show up here. Now um, all of these won't show up by default, these icons here. This advanced icon you have to actually, um, it's hidden, you have to bring it up. So if you hit control and click or uh, <clears throat> right click if you have a mouse for the Mac. You can hit Customize Toolbar, and then you're going to drag the advanced icon right next to the Windows icon there, or wherever you want. <clears throat> so now you have this extra piece of functionality here. Um, so let's go back to it again, and it does this little searching for printers thing. I don't know what that is. It, it doesn't search for shit. Um, but once that's done, it gives you these options here. Uh, what you're going to choose for type is Windows. This, you can't choose anything else. Uh, for here, you're going to put either the domain name or the IP address of your print server. <coughs> so let's make a fake one here. And then you're going to do a backslash and add the name of your printer. So what I usually do is change uh, change the name to the actual name of the printer because uh, I don't like a bunch of numbers as the name of the printer. Location, you can put what you want. For this part here, you're actually you're choosing your driver for this printer. Um, I've never had any luck with these generic drivers. I've spent hours trying to make it work and it does not work. Um, so what you're going to have to do is get that specific driver for that specific printer, um, Mac version of course, from the manufacturer's website. So your last step is to print a test page. So you can just go anywhere and print something. We'll print something in Safari here. And you'll hit print. And a prompt will come up asking for user credentials and you're just going to put in whatever authentication you have for your print server. You have to put in the user and the password. You're going to check mark remember this password in my keychain otherwise it will continually ask you for the password and then you're going to hit OK. So that's it. If you guys have any questions uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you.